Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, grandpops and grandmoms, to a brand new episode of Jack Watches Skippity Toilet. In today's episode, we are checking out the long-awaited Skippity Toilet 72 Part 2. This gets serious, ladies and gentlemen. The description says it is G-Man versus Astro Toilet. In the last episode, we saw that they were about to fight, or at least it seemed like it. As you can see, Astro Toilet picks up the tiny little toilet, throws it at G-Man. G-Man doesn't even flinch. And he basically says, your time has come. It's time for G-Man to be defeated. Now, from what we've seen, it seems like the Astro Toilet is incredibly powerful. It fought all three Titans at the same time, but I have a weird feeling G-Man is going to actually put up one heck of a fight. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. I have been waiting for days to watch this. Oh my goodness, dude. He sent out like little grappling hooks like he was Doc Ock fighting Spider-Man. G-Man has a freaking Iron Man upgrade. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Okay, Astro Toilet has to be more powerful here, right? There's no way. Even with all of G-Man's upgrades, G-Man has like three times the amount of lasers. But G-Man has the toilets on his side. Oh my gosh. No way. Together, they might actually be able to beat Astro Toilet. I have a good feeling about this, dude. Especially with like the giant toilets and the Titans. Sometimes it's the smaller toilets and the smaller camera people that can actually do some serious damage. Oh my gosh, it's getting into hand-to-hand -hand combat. G-Man doesn't stand a chance here, dude. G-Man doesn't even have opposable thumbs. Oh. Oh, it's over. What? What? What is happening? What are we watching? All right, G-Man just went absolutely berserk power level 9,000 mode. He said, nah, bro, I am the top G. You can't fight me. Yo, why is G-Man like giving some Rizzler eyebrows right there? Kind of sus. I don't think we've ever seen G-Man like this I don't even know. This powered up before, dude. He looks ready to fight anything that comes in front of him. <laughs> I think he just bit Astro Toilet. What? I don't know about you guys, but I have a weird feeling Astro Toilet's going to lose. He said, you fool, it's over for you. I don't think it is. What? What is happening? Okay, hold up. He gave G-Man, or G-Man gave Astro Toilet little, like, orbs to power up, but these ones are different. Look at that. They have, like, a purple energy about them. It's like G-Man knew this was going to happen. He can take over. It was, it was an infection all along. Yo, G-Man has never looked more crazy. What? Nah, nah, bro, what just happened? Did we just watch Astro Toilet get bested? Astro Toilet honestly, like, looked kind of proud of G-Man. He was smiling at him, like, like he, you know, did a good job. And what is happening? No, seriously, what, what the heck? What is happening? Who is this? Oh, Speaker Man, get out of here, dude. What are you doing? Seriously, you do not belong here. You are out of your league. Okay, so there was an upgraded Astro Toilet that came in and rescued the original Astro Toilet. And, oh, the Titans are teaming up against G-Man? Is this the end of G-Man? It can't be. Not it. What? Oh, no, G-Man escaped. Just barely. Okay, I, I honestly, I don't even know. I literally have no idea what just happened. Other than, okay, upgraded Titan Cameraman just got another upgrade. He now has Astro Toilet's ability. And at the end, he just said, I don't know if you guys heard that. He said four plunger. Listen, four plunger. That is the most hype way to end an episode. Boom has done it again, dude. Boom has literally made one of the best episodes in the entire series. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to check out Elite Cameraman's Analysis, which I've been looking forward to for the past week. 
Hello everyone, Elite Cameraman here. Hi. Oh boy, I don't even know where to start. Same. Today's episode Woo. was nuts. It's April Fool's Day, and many people were thinking that Boom is just pulling a prank when he announced that the episode would be coming out today. But here we are, after almost two weeks of waiting, it truly was worth the wait because this yes. episode really passed my expectations. <laughs> yes, it did. Boom told us it was going to be three minutes plus, but this episode was longer than four minutes and it came out only 11 days after the last episode. Everything from the battle between G-Man Toilet and the Astro Claw Toilet to the new crazy-looking Astro Toilet was mind-blowing. It feels like we are entering a new era of Skibidi Toilet because of how strong the Astro Toilets are. And just to remind you, this is just the beginning. Yeah, guys, I'm getting a little bit worried that the Titans that we've known as, like, the strongest things in the series, Titan TV Man, Titan Speaker Man, Upgraded Titan Cameraman, that, like, they will become obsolete. Like, they won't be powerful enough to fight back against this, like, crazy new version of G-Man and also whatever that upgraded Astro Toilet was that we saw towards the end of the episode. It doesn't seem like they're going to stand a chance anymore. Until now, we have only seen three Astro Toilets in total, and God knows how many there are in total. The three we saw might not even be close to the strongest Astro Toilets. But before we get into all the juicy stuff that happened in today's episode, make sure to like this video and subscribe. Let's Already did. Let's try to get to 69,000 likes <laughs> and 1.5 million subscribers because we are almost there. Anyways, here we go. Since today's episode is a part two, it starts with the ending of episode 72, part one, where we saw the Claw Astro Toilet arrive at the scene. If you guys haven't seen my episode 72, part one analysis video in this scene, Claw Astro Toilet speaks and says, you know the penalty for treason, Commander. No one escapes justice. And episode 72, part one ended right when G-Man was about to fire his lasers. We start the new footage with no cuts and G-Man instantly starts firing his lasers at the Claw Astro Toilet. But as we have seen from Episode 70 Part 1 where Claw Astro Toilet was shown for the first time, he can use his gravitational claws to stop projectiles, yep. deflect them, and copy them. Yes, he we'll can! We'll get back to this because this power actually results in his downfall, but we'll talk about this later in the video. While G-Man is shooting his lasers, Astro Claw Toilet does a shield formation to block the attack fully and utilizes his top claw to copy the laser ability to shoot it back. But since he can yeah, only that shoot was pretty one sick. laser, the firepower is not that impressive and G-Man Toilet instantly blocks it with his new shield that they probably stole from Titan Cameraman's technology and right when he blocks Bro does the Rizzler face once again. <laughs> he just can't stop Bro. <laughs> he does that a this lot during a this fight. Breed when it comes to Rizzy faces. <laughs> but seeing this, Astro Claw Toilet actually starts using powers that we didn't know existed. He pulls his claws back and three tentacles fly out of his claws to attack the shield itself. I don't know what he normally uses those tentacles for, but it cannot be good. It looked like the tentacles were electrocuting the shield to overpower it. Yeah, it broke through the, the shield, shield pretty easily. But in reality, we see what Astro Toilet was trying to do a couple moments after. G-Man Toilet outsmarts Astro Toilet by rotating his jet engines 180 degrees to push himself backwards. But he didn't do this fast enough since we literally see Astro Claw Toilet stealing the energy of the shield. Yeah, you could see it right around his central ring. You could see the lights start to light up and he has his power. So I guess that's where the power is stored in this like swirly arc reactor core in the center of this skibbity toilet. And tripling his laser fire power. Seeing this G-Man toilet knows he has to take some extreme protective measures, so he decides to pull a crazy move and starts using a helmet. Bro Wait, did, did his glasses so turn into that? To pull a crazy oh no, his glasses, so they got like pulled up behind his helmet. I thought that his glasses for a second like turned into the giant helmet, which would be kind of sick. Helmet. Bro literally pulled it out as if he is Iron Man. <laughs> right <laughs> That's what I this, said. They both start firing the lasers instantly. And if you do the math, G-Man is at an advantage here because his overall firing power is most likely double of Astro Claw Toilet. Maybe even so triple. actually see G-Man Toilet pushing Astro Toilet cloned lasers. But somehow, Astro Claw Toilet starts spinning his claws faster and faster to boost the power of his own lasers to push it back. And we actually see G-Man Toilet struggling. We can't see his exact impression because of the face mask, but he starts shaking. And it's clear that if the plane bomber toilets didn't come to his rescue just at the right time, he was going to lose the laser battle. 
The first bomber toilet doesn't even make the Astro Claw toilet flinch, but the second one literally annoys him so much that he <laughs> stops the laser fight with a big boom and turns around to deal with the bomber toilets. He destroys all of the bomber toilets in seconds, but this really was a mistake on his part because he put down his defenses just to deal with some bomber toilets. Yeah, he could have ended G-Man. Damage. I think after almost beating the laser battle, he underestimated G-Man toilet a lot, and that's what happens throughout the episode. G-Man's history of fights are all loses, so Astro Toilets probably think so lowly of him. After getting knocked down by G-Man Toilet's lasers and getting actual damage, which we can see through his face scars that he just got, Astro Claw Toilet starts looking a lot more serious and says, Enough games. Here you go. Listen to it yourself. So yeah, that just goes to prove that he was not taking G-Man seriously whatsoever at the start. Like, he thought that it would be easy peasy, lemon squeezy, but it turns out it was not. And definitely will not be, as we already saw. After saying this, Blood literally dodges G-Man Toilet's lasers without any effort and dashes onto G-Man to start punching yeah, he, him with his claws. He should have done and that right from the start. no arms, so bro can't do anything about it. I'm gonna be honest. I think this scene we are about to talk about is actually the first time G-Man Toilet felt helpless and hopeless. The punches that the Claw Astro Toilet threw felt like they were powerful, but the punches weren't all because the Astro Toilet starts pulling out G-Man Toilet's lasers and throwing them down alongside his face mask. I assume this was to grab his head just like the first leak that we saw, because right after this we actually get to see the scene that was shown in the first leak that everyone thought was a troll leak. But it looks like it was real, and it just looked weird because it wasn't rendered. People were also confused about the scales of the characters because of this scene, since the Claw Astro Toilet looks so small, and because of this yeah, true. boom, wanted me to show you guys an outside perspective of the characters and the real size comparison, and mentioned that the sizes never change, and it was just the perspective. This scene is exactly like what we thought. And it is a remake of what happened in episode 60. Oh, yeah, true. see the needle hand the Astro Claw Toilet had in episode 60. Right, and that needle hand comes out later when G-Man takes over with his, like, purple virus power. This also means that the Astro Claw Toilet might have had more tools inside his claws. But we will never know for a while because of what happened later in the episode. But one thing is not clear. If this is to kill G-Man Toilet, why was he waiting? What was he waiting for? A couple seconds after Astro Claw Toilet puts his claw onto G-Man Toilet's head, this is weird because why did G-Man Toilet suddenly started screaming after a few seconds? This wasn't like a normal scream, this was a terrifying scream. It felt like Astro Toilet was doing something to G-Man Toilet's brain instead of just trying to kill him because I think he could have stabbed him ten times. Yeah, that's a good thought. Seconds. I don't know what the Astro Toilets are planning, but this was the moment where G-Man Toilet truly felt hopeless. His screams distorted the camera for five whole seconds. Bro's face while screaming was truly something else. <laughs> and with how terrified he was, he just starts using his lasers randomly and actually hits the claw Astro Toilet. But it doesn't seem to hurt him because he was blocking it with his claw hands. After Claw Astro Toilet escapes G-Man Toilet's lasers, we can literally see G-Man Toilet tweaking. Bro was so terrified that his face muscles were moving on its own. While G-Man Toilet was trying to spot the Astro Toilet, the Astro Toilet attacked him twice with his extremely fast attacks. G-Man wasn't able to defend himself and his sunglasses broke, but right before the third attack, he was able to open his shield, and this actually was a crazy move because Astro Toilet hitting the shield in extreme speeds actually hurt him a lot. We can yeah, you can see that throughout this battle, Astro Toilet starts to look more and more worried. Like, he started out super confident, and then every single time G-Man pulled out, like, a brand new tactic that he didn't really think that G-Man was capable of, you could see Astro Toilet, like, physically start to look more and more like he might lose this battle. can literally see his engines burning and electricity leaking, and G-Man doesn't wait a second before using his lasers on him once again right before the Astro Toilet zooms out of the fight. But this is not the end. On the contrary, this is where G-Man starts to see a pattern on the Astro Toilet's behavior. If you look back, G-Man didn't defend himself for two attacks and Astro Toilet attacked the third time without thinking. But on the third attack, G-Man opened his shield. He could have done this the first attack, but that might have made the Astro Toilet feel like he was losing the battle. Instead, G-Man clearly is playing the long game instead of winning the short blows. 
Well, also, it didn't even look like Astro Toilet was doing any damage with those, like, quick, super fast attacks. Like, G-Man didn't even look injured by those. After the claw, Astro Toilet disappears again, G-Man starts looking around again. But if I'm honest, I think this time it was intentional because we see the Astro Toilet coming up from behind G-Man Toilet. True. And he uses two needles this time because he just wants to get done with the battle. The reason for this is most likely because he now understand he might actually get some damage, but I don't think he thinks he'll lose the battle. Right before the Astro Toilet attacks, if you freeze the frame, we can actually see G-Man Toilet stop tweaking and start smiling slightly. Bro already knew what was happening and he was just <laughs> acting here. I'ma be honest with the other thing he'll do later in the episode. I think G-Man really has learned his lesson from his old fights and he is not just attacking randomly but actually thinking before he does stuff in battle. This yeah, I mean definitely agreed there that G-Man has learned from previous battles but also too it's kind of weird because we know that G-Man has been cloned so many times. Like we saw during that giant battle versus the Titans that there were like multiple versions of G-Man. So I guess this, I mean, we're just assuming that this is like the first form of G-Man that's been upgraded so many times and that it's not one of the clone G-Mans. I mean, it could be, but probably not. It's probably the original. It really is a crazy improvement. Right before the Astro Claw toilet attacks, G-Man toilet instantly turns back and starts using his lasers right on Astro toilet's face leading him to get knocked back so that he can defend himself with his claws. After absorbing the laser energy, he once again uses it to counterattack, but this time he uses energy balls to knock G-Man off. And unlike the G-Man toilet we are used to, we actually see a very serious looking G-Man toilet probably planning his next move to take down the Astro toilet for good. Right at this scene, Astro toilet starts speaking to G-Man toilet once again and says, Give up, it's over for you. Here you go, listen to it yourself. Right at this scene, Astro Toilet starts speaking to G-Man Toilet once again and says, Give up, <laughs> over for you. That was goofy. Here you go, listen to it yourself. Give up, it's over for you. After Astro Toilet says this, G-Man does a weird move. We see him pull out an energy ball from his core and make it attack Astro Toilet. But as you guys saw, he had a grin on his face right before, and this was all calculated. He used this energy ball knowing that the Astro Toilet would counter it by deflecting it. Yeah, honestly, I feel like the Astro Toilet here was kind of dumb. Like, if G-Man does something like that, you would assume that G-Man's probably up to some weird stuff. Because since the battle has started, G-Man has, like, used full force. He's been attacking nonstop, and he hasn't done anything yet that's been, like, this move where he just threw out, like, a little orb of yellow energy. So, like, I don't know. I feel like the Astro Toilet was kind of dumb, but also, too, he's probably not thinking logically since during the entire fight, he thought he would win. So he's probably just looking for, like, any opportunity to end the battle as fast as he can. He knew it was so slow for it to do something, but from Astro Toilet's perspective, this was mostly a last resort from G-Man Toilet. And we can clearly see that his base is about to fall apart because it is not stable. But when Astro Toilet was playing checkers, G-Man Toilet was playing 4D chess. True. Right before Astro Toilets deflects the energy ball, he says that's all, while being confused. Here you go. Listen to it yourself. See, look, he was confused. I don't know why he After didn't -Man think it was weird. By his own energy ball and takes a little bit off damage, he instantly creates two more energy balls, but we can instantly see that they are different. They have some purple particles coming out of them. And it does look like the energy that Titan TV Man produces, which will be important later when I'm explaining what happened. Okay. After Astro Toilets grabs the energy balls, he says pathetic to G Man <laughs> Toilet without knowing what's coming. Here you go, listen to it yourself. After this, suddenly G-Man's energy balls that the Astro Toilet was happily holding explode, and we can clearly see that it's as if G-Man Toilet hacked Astro Toilet's hands, at least the ones that the energy balls were on. Before I continue, I need to explain what happened here. As you guys know, we saw this yellow-purple energy before, and it was on Episode 68, Part 1, when one of the clone G-Man toilets attacked Titan TV oh. Man. Oh! This clearly means that this is the same energy. Right, okay, I that makes it sense. it's possible that the purple TV Man energy has the ability to control stuff, 
just like how the TV man can use their TV beams. This results in G-Man controlling Astro Toilet's hands with the purple-yellow energy ball energy. We literally see the Astro Toilet shocked, and I think at that moment he knew. He messed up and got outplayed. G-Man Toilet starts using the hands against the Astro Toilet and makes Astro Toilet grab his own head and squish it, and Blood literally turns to his own self for a second because the way he laughs is so freaky. <laughs> he suddenly starts pulling out the needles to make Astro Toilet stab himself. And even though Astro Toilet manages to cut one of his arms before G-Man can do anything, the second arm stabs himself in the neck, causing him to fall down. But that's yeah, not that was all crazy. he's still alive, and he gets up with a broken body, scars, oh. and with one arm left. And I hate to admit this, but this guy truly has dedication. If it was G-Man Toilet in his shoes, he would have dipped ten minutes ago. Oh, yeah, 100%. This, the POV camera looks back at G-Man Toilet, and we see him looking really freaky while opening up his lasers. I'ma be honest. I need to ask if the Astro Toilet did something his brain because the way he is looking is not looking very healthy. <laughs> Bro went from Rizzler mode to the weird kid in class really fast. <laughs> After he starts shooting his lasers, the claw Astro Toilet can't do anything but something incredible happens. Boom told us that a new strong character would appear, and I did guess it would be an Astro Toilet, but bro, that makes sense. I did not expect something like nah, this. Nah, this is something else. A new else. Astro Toilet appeared out of nowhere, and goddamn, he looks cool. He's a beast. Bro looks like he came from the future. I don't know what to call this new Astro Toilet, to be honest. Some names that people were saying include Gas Mask Astro, Astro Knight, Astro Emperor, Astro, Astro Knight Boss, sounds cool. Astro Titan and many more. For now, I'll just call him Gas Mask Astro. I don't know if he's like a Titan, but he's definitely like a higher up in the Astro Skibbity Toilet world. And also, too, I'm curious, do you guys know if we've seen like the color red used at all? Because obviously we've seen blue, we've seen yellow lasers, we've seen um the, the purple lasers, but I don't know if we've ever seen red lasers before. Other than, I guess... Never mind. I take that back. Speaker Man. Speaker Man has red lasers. So I guess maybe they're using like the same energy as Speaker Man. Bro, since he has a gas mask. But if the community decides to use a different name, we'll go ahead with that. If you have any ideas on what we call this humongous dude, let me know. After he arrives at the scene and blocks the attack with his crazy powerful shield, which I think is much more advanced compared to both normal Skibidus and the Alliance, he starts using his hand cannon and charging it up. He shoots the energy ball, which is a lot faster compared to G-Man's energy balls. It hits G-Man Toilet's shield and literally disables it while pushing G-Man Toilet back. This is some crazy power. Mm -hmm. It doesn't end here because instantly he starts charging it one more time and he can also use his shield at the same time. But while charging it up to kill G-Man Toilet, someone starts shooting the gas mask Astro out of nowhere. And once we turn left, we see that it's Titan Speakerman arriving at the scene. Yeah, honestly, Titan Speakerman kind of ruined this for everybody because G-Man was about to get deleted. And then the Titans came in thinking that they were doing a good thing by, you know, fighting back against the, the different toilets. Um, but they didn't realize that they actually saved G-Man. The gas mask Astro Toilet shoots the energy ball at Titan Speakerman, but he dodges it instantly. At least he thinks he dodged it because this energy ball is so powerful that even yeah. though it explodes so far away from Titan Speakerman, it has the power to knock him off just That's from its That's crazy, force. dude. It's like a dark this matter bomb. Is truly crazy. And right after defending himself, he gets a hold of the claw Astro Toilet and zooms out of the battlefield to save him. Bro is truly a menace to society. But the episode doesn't end here because as you guys know, G-Man Toilet is still there and the Titans have just arrived. Titan Speaker Man gets kind of mad and Bro starts taking his anger out on G-Man Toilet <laughs> by using his core laser instantly. He's like an angry 12-year-old. But G-Man Toilet opens his shields up to defend himself. And unlike the battle with the Astro Toilet, he looks like he was caught of guard and he is kind of scared, as he should be. Titan TV Man arrives out of nowhere to start using his TV beam on him, but he closes his eyes to not be affected by it and escapes the scene right before Titan TV Man can cut him off. But for some reason in the subtitles it says he will not escape this time, probably because Boom wants to keep the subtitles PG. And right after this he also says, Are you ready, bro? According to the subtitles. But if you listen to it in reverse, you'll clearly hear that he surely does not say bro at the end. After this one of the coolest moments in the series happen, and we see the Titan cameraman pull out his hand to change it with one of Astro Toilet's claws, which will make him crazy overpowered if you ask me. Oh, 100%. And will actually give an advantage against all the toilet races. I am kind of curious though, since that was infected by G-Man, 
will it still be infected? Or since, you know, he chopped it off and like ended the spread of the infection, like, is it is it cool to use? I'm guessing that it's probably the latter, that it's probably not going to have any infection, but it is something to think about. But that's not the important part, because right at the end of the episode, he speaks for the first time and says, for plunger, ending the Yes, episode. for that plunger. 